Hello, true duelists. My name is Craig Fee. Oh, that's the wrong one. Hello, true duelists. It's YGO Strats Yu-Gi-Oh! Single Card History, where I'm going to be talking about some of the cards that have impacted Yu-Gi-Oh! throughout the years and some of the other ones that are objective failures of card design and they're, they're, they're stupid and they suck and they're bad. Today's card... The only tuner Halka Fibrax couldn't summon that still got banned for Halk's sins anyways. Destrudo, the Lost Dragon's Fissure. Destrudo was first released as a rare in Circuit Break back in 2017. Notable reprints to date include a super rare print in OTS Pack 7 in 2018, a second rare printing in the 2018 Megatons in the worst year of Yu-Gi-Oh! 2018, and most recently as I make this video as a peasant rare in OTS Pack 19 in 2022. For time on the ban list, it got smacked with the ban hammer on the April 2020 ban list, where it stayed for a few years to let Halk have its fun. Then, for whatever reason, they brought Destrudo back to the limited status, on the February 2022 ban list before they had even limited Halk, I guess just deciding it wouldn't be a problem, question mark. It stayed limited for a year too, even after Halk had been banned, just before joining its tuner brethren back at the unlimited status on the February 2023 ban list. And fittingly enough, that's the same list that brought back Destrudo's true partner in crime, not Halka Fibrax, Ancient Fairy Dragon. But we'll get to that in a bit. Destrudo is a level 7 dark attribute dragon type monster with 1000 attack and 3000 defense, and its effect reads, If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can pay half your life points, then target one level 6 or lower monster you control, special summon this card, and if you do, this card's level is reduced by the level of the targeted monster. Also, place this card on the bottom of the deck if it leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Destrudo the Lost Dragon's Frisian once per turn. Destrudo is a neat card in the metaphysical sense that every time I look at it, I just assume it's this weird zombie-like dragon, but I don't know if it is. Like, its foot is visibly just half bone, but is it really a zombie or is it just really weird looking and pink? It reminds me of Dragon Zombie, but they decided to make this one the most abusable tuner ever, or among the most abusable tuners ever, by making it a dragon. It's also able to summon itself from the hand or grave, can manipulate its level for use of a very flexible number of summons, which, <laughs> get it, like flexible in terms of both the number of monsters it can be used to summon and the number of levels that it's summoning. Please laugh, I am trying. But, but in all seriousness, it's strong because it's always live. Since even if you only have 100 life points, you can always pay half. So it is bound to be abused. And abused it has been. Destrudo saw use immediately in what would become, in my opinion, its most notable, abusable, and best generic function, making Ancient Fairy Dragon and getting whatever field spell it is you wanted. Destrudo is an interesting tuner in that it's level 7, which in most situations would make it difficult to use. But since it targets a monster and loses a levels equal to that target, it means Destrudo can make any level 6 or lower monster into any level 7 synchro monster for just the cost of half your life points. Which of course means Ancient Fairy Dragon. But Ancient Fairy Dragon also needs to pop a field spell in order to get its search, which is where Destrudo being a dragon becomes oh so critical. By teching in Dragon's Ravine, it means opening it allows any player to discard any card in their hand, send Destrudo to Grave by Ravine's effect, and from there all it takes is summoning any monster by any means whose level is 6 or lower, and you can turn that monster into Ancient Fairy Dragon and use Ancient Fairy Dragon to search your in-archetypal field spell. And in 2017, when we got Destrudo, Konami was in the midst of this like punk rock era, but instead of punk rock, it's just absurdly good field spells. I don't know what it was about, but some of the best field spells in the game were being printed at that time. Hell, 2017 was the year Konami printed BES Zelos or Zelos or whatever this card is that just single handedly makes BES monsters at least playable. Something thought undoable previously, but they were just in a in a phase. They were addicted to making stupidly good field spells for decks. And Lord knows that better decks than BES also got some busted ass field spells. Both Spiral decks as well as ABC decks were using this engine to make their plays. 
Spiral would use it to get to Spiral Resort, a card that not only searched any monster for the deck, but made Spiral monsters untargetable by the opponent's card effects. This made it a starter or extender, depending on what it is you searched, as well as kept your card safe from, say, Effect Veilers, or even the then-newer Infinite Impermanence once that card released. Not to mention, it protected an already absurd end board with a very obnoxious Spiral Sleeper. Meanwhile, ABC would search Union Hanger, which, similarly to Spiral Resort, also searched a monster on activation, what a trend for Konami to have given us, and could equip a Union Monster to a summoned Light Machine Union Monster on your field. So essentially, this card searched out A, B, or C, as well as equipped to the field A, B, or C, which could then be used to summon, search, or recycle cards and make ABC Dragon Buster. Both of these field spells were incredibly useful for getting their decks plays going smoothly, if not outright critical, especially in the case of Union Hanger. And while Ravine Send Destrudo Make AFD was the main play of the card for some time, it was far from the only one. Zephra was another deck playing Destrudo back in 2018, but it didn't play it for Ancient Fairy Dragon plays like other decks had been, but because there's another level 7 Cinder Dragon that's pretty damn useful, namely Black Rose Dragon. You could make Make the same sort of minimal investment ravine play to summon out Destrudo, or if you had it, you could just use Destrudo and then make Black Rose Dragon that way. And fun fact, Oracle of Zephra is chain link 2 on a synchro summon, which means that if you use Black Rose and you already have Oracle up, you can still stack a card to the top of your deck. Isn't Yu-Gi-Oh and chain linking fun? Alternatively, you could also choose to summon out Yazi, Evil of the Yang Zing, to either do a more targeted form of spot removal that won't cost you your entire board as well, on top of summoning a worm from your deck. And if that's not your choice, depending on your available resources, you could maybe even make a Chow Feng using the summoned Yazi to shut off dark monsters from the opponent. Not the most common choice, but technically doable if you have Yazi and a level 2 tuner. But it's okay, because all of this was in 2017 and 2018. 18, which means it was in Master Rule 4. And did you know that there's no limit on using this card as a material? That's right, that means you can use it not just for synchro monsters, but as generic link material as well. Any number of decks could play it for exactly that reason. Like say, Goki Link Spam, because you don't need to send this off Ravine, you just need the cards in your hand to be extenders to make plays. And Destrudo is of course a free summon, just as long as you have a monster with a level below seven and so it was used in extra link goki as well and you know what else was using link spam to win decks besides goki extra link turbo that's right gumblar turbo just every card you can imagine that's even halfway decent alongside the oh so abusable dark warrior package this iconic and terrible piece of Yu-Gi-Oh's history was of course summoning a whole bunch of monsters to make Gumblar to rip two cards out of the opponent's hand on your turn, then summon a monster again and rip two cards out of the opponent's hand on their turn so that they only get to start with two cards in their hand and you, you just, everyone's just having fun. Everyone's smiling. 2018 is looked back on so fondly that I'm literally smiling as I read this right now. And hell, since Destrudo can of course be used to summon a Synchro Monster, depending on the hand, you could even end your turn with not just Gumblar, but an F.A. Dawn Dragster to negate any spell or trap the opponent might have a hope of trying to play. Oh, like I said, I'm smiling. Destrudo's role, of course, in this deck is nearly identical in function to Goki's. It's not often you'll end on the F.A. Dawn Dragster, but, you know, if you really want to grind the salt into the wound of the opponent, some hands made it possible. Destrudo's typing would actually come up again soon enough, however, with the release of Guard Dragons having a tremendous impact on the meta. Depending on what monster you use to summon, Destrudo could have a level low enough that it could be used as material for LP or Pisty, and for Agrapain in regardless, since it needs just two dragons. This helped it to tutor out any dragon from the deck, and even the extra deck. This was powerful enough to be even playable in the janky-ass worlds format that happens every year that I love so much, but it was a common choice in Thunder Guard Dragon decks and even in Dragon Link. The Guard Dragon package itself was actually good enough to be included in non-dragon focused decks anyways, because it was just that good, such as Pendulum Magicians. This list here would use Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm and even Destrudo to use the Guard Dragons to freely Link Climb to get some arrows for a big fat Pendulum summon, as well as potential material for, say, Heratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres to help buff its end boards. 
But by 2019, it wasn't just guard dragons, it was toss format. You can't talk about toss without the O. Orcist was another dark deck that abused the dragon, be it for the simple tried and true generic link material to make Galatea, or oh, MBT, I swear to God. Be it for the simple tried and true generic link climbing to help you make Galatea to get your combos going, but also as a way to abuse synchro potential. Using Destrudo to summon Yazi, evil of the Yang Zing, if you could pop a card from the opponent's field, you could pop Yazi itself for its effect, which would allow you to summon any worm from the deck, as mentioned previously. Such as, say, Mare Mare. Mare Mare? I prefer Mare Mare, fuck it. Thrice per turn here could of course be used to summon up to three tokens with its effect, which in a world where Link monsters exists means Destrudo and any monster can functionally become a Link 4 for the brain dead and any number of Link combos for the more enlightened among us. Destrudo also worked great in the deck because as a dark monster, it doesn't care about the dark lock that Orcist has to play under when doing its standard plays, which while stopping a potential Mare Mare play, kept it usable fully for the true Orcist plays the main deck would be making. And of course, I can't make a video lately it seems without mentioning Block Dragon Burning Abyss, monster spam pile deck that was nothing but starters, and extenders, and time theft most of all. Of course it was playing the self-summoning fuck that is Destrudo. It's of course a generic Link material. With a number of milling cards such as Dante and Gallus the Star Beast, it wasn't hard to find yourself in a spot where you had a Destrudo in the grave just as a piece of free extension. And if not, cards like the Danger Monsters could probably end up with it in the graveyard. After its banning, you won't believe it, but nobody played it. I can't believe nobody hard cheated at a tournament and got away with it with a banned card. But once it came back, you can be sure it found its way back into decks. Destrudo was played very often in tier limit decks. Strudo being a dark dragon meant that it could help make curious plays, since its dark dragon typing paired very well with the dangers plethora of types and all being dark, not to mention its level fluctuation helped it once again. Because the tier limits have levels from 2, 3, and 4, you could make Destrudo either level 5, 4, or 3, which opened a number of plays. A level 3 Destrudo and a Danger Nessie could make a Baron, or a level 5 Destrudo could make Chaos Ruler the Chaotic Magical Dragon using any level 3 Danger or even a Havness. And as always, if nothing else, it could be used as very easy Link fodder for, say, Dark. Which brings us to today. Destrudo is back at 3, Ravine is at 3, and Ancient Fairy Dragon's Arata did nothing to stop it from being abused more or less exactly as it had been before both these dragons had been banned. And field spells are still, of course, as strong as ever. The Destrudo package is already back in ABC decks, and decks that have good field spells can now consider it for their plays. Not to mention, Destrudo's tuner status is only stronger with the advent of stronger Synchro Summons since its initial banning, namely Baron, or the truly iconic Dark Dimension Soldier. <laughs> yeah, you, th you thought any field spell you wanted on command was bad? Just wait until players start... What the fuck does this card do? Banish your card, you can... Inflict a hundred day, oh man. Oh man, just wait until players start burning for time in round one to win duels. That's right, this is the new cowboy for game, folks. Do not tell Triff. In, in all seriousness, this is a very powerful card with a plethora of uses, if it's not apparent from how long I've been talking about it. It still has access to Black Rose, or Yazi for Mare Mare, and all sorts of lines available to it. So the world is the oyster for it to be used. I'm sure it'll pop up again in top decks and be as good as it ever was, because that's just what self-summoning tuners do. They be good. Overall, Destrudo is a phenomenally strong card. From its usefulness as a tuner for a plethora of synchro plays, its presence as a body for the simplicity of link climbing, and honestly, I won't even be shocked if it finds its way to use its level manipulation for some Xyz deck in the future. Would not be remotely surprised by that. The fact that you're never unable to pay for its cost means it's always a live piece of extension so long as you have another monster, and its splash ability makes it guaranteed to be a staple for years to come in my eyes, assuming Konami doesn't decide to go out and ban it again when it inevitably gets abused for the 10 millionth time. And so, that's our look at Yu-Gi-Oh! Single Card History, Destrudo, The Lost Dragon's Frisier. Frisier? 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 Fr 
It's definitely Frisian, and I've said Frisian for half the video. We're not fixing it. It's done. It's done. Oopsie doopsie. What a scoopsie. Stay tuned for the next video, and feel free to suggest some cards to review or what type of video you'd like to see. Don't forget to like, and as always, subscribe to YGO Strats to impress your smoking Italian wife. And so you too can be a true duelist.